What is going on everybody? It's Hector Martinez once again for Urban Kung Fu. And today I want to share with you some of my Eric So Bruce Lee figures from his fashion series line. And it features Bruce Lee dressed up in various outfits that he actually wore back in the 60s and the 70s. And as we all know, Bruce Lee was an extremely fashionable guy. He was very classy. And I, I think he adapted his style uh, from Hollywood. But then again, we can see photos of him back in the 60s, you know, how dapper and debonair he was. But I believe that also Hollywood influenced Bruce Lee in the way he dressed with his uh, dashikis and his, his bell-bottom pants and his high heel shoes. I mean, Bruce Lee was the coolest cat, you know? And, uh, well, you know, we all know that Bruce Lee hung out a lot with uh, Steve McQueen and uh, James Garner, James Coburn, uh, Roman Polanski, all these guys from, from, the, um, from the movie star era. So Bruce Lee adapted a lot of his, uh, his style of dressing from these guys and uh, Bruce Lee was very very hip uh, and Eric so really captured Bruce nicely in his fashion series uh, line of action figures now up here we have um, uh, my one one scale bust and this bust was created by Joe Dickerson of Godiking Studios in California and uh, Joe has been uh, trying his best in, in trying to come up with a a likeness that was close to Bruce Lee. I mean, Bruce Lee had a complicated look. Bruce Lee was uh, had a mixture of uh, Eurasian blood and Asian blood. And, 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 you know, Bruce Lee was just, I mean, he was very handsome, very striking looks. And it was very hard to come up with that look to uh, kind of like bring it back to life. And I believe that Joe did a fantastic job with this one. Um, as you can see, he got the skin tone right. The eyes are there, the eyebrows, the five o'clock shadow. Bruce Lee, I mean, really came to life in this bust. And I'm so pleased, so happy, so proud and honored to have this in my collection. So I wanna say thank you to Joe Dickerson for such a phenomenal job putting this together. And this one here is actually Bruce Lee and the way he looked in, uh, in Fist of Fury, also known as Chinese Connection here in the United States. So uh, I believe that uh, Joe did a, a great, great job in putting this one together. So uh, yeah, you know, guys, I decided to put a kind of like a short video to share with you a few of my acquisitions. I mean, these pieces have been in my collection for the past few years, but I decided to put this uh, video together because I know you guys enjoy watching other, uh, other, other collectors' collections. I mean, it brings me joy as well, so I thought I'd, I'd put this together. So um, uh, be on the lookout. I'll be having uh, future videos for you. Uh, I've been busy uh, the last couple of days, so I couldn't really put out anything new. These are snippets from some of my old videos that I had on something called Vimeo. But not many of you know what Vimeo is, so I decided to just uh, bounce this on, um, on YouTube. So uh, thanks again, man, you know, for supporting my channel, for subscribing to my channel, Urban Kung Fu. And I promise, man, that as the days uh, uh, come, I'm going to have some amazing videos for you. I have some new acquisitions brand new things that i just purchased uh but i haven't had the time to really put together but get ready it's coming soon